as I uh, said before, I said I should do a uh, XCF tutorial so that people can see what's uh, the difference between ACF and XCF. So I'm basically going to show the new stuff added. And I'm just going to say this in the start. Um, the SVN link for XCF is in the description and you need Torto's uh, SVN to use it as uh, for ACF. Uh, before you uh, install XCF you should uh, uninstall slash delete ACF. And uh, the, the XCF has the same content as uh, ACF. Uh, XCF has the same contents as ACF. Um, so uh, you can play on ACF servers, just not with the XCF stuff added. So uh, while playing on uh, while playing XCF, you can't choose single player. You just have to uh, choose two player, local or not. So uh, you can change the number of uh, entities and uh, lamps and lights and stuff here or you should be able to, I couldn't so I had to change it uh, in the console but uh, that's not so hard um, this is uh, the XCF menu and uh, I compare it to the ACF menu, it's here um, the XCF menu is actually much more advanced you can see and then you have uh, here stats, caliber and mass that's uh, that's a lot more comfortable and uh, just easy to use than the ACF would look at auto cannons here it's uh, there we have caliber and uh, yeah it's more basic but I really like the XCF more we're going to spawn some uh, weapons This is a 12 centimeter bomb, dual mention. And we shall spawn what's new Fear Pod, 7 shot. So let's see, rocket tube. Oh, 90 millimeter. That's heavy, I think. And uh, we have. Uh, that's dimensions, rotary auto can it's the same. Uh yeah, I think I think that's uh, the new stuff. And here also you have the ammo uh engines and th this is more nice with the uh, XCF2 because uh here you go to let's find mobility engines and here we have the engines like in line here is yeah this boxer and in line uh, so you have the stats down here and uh, in the XCF you have here with the in line and then we have the stats like this uh, and that's uh, that's nicer it's uh, yeah it's neat so gearboxes and we have the same uh, stats bars on these ones and when you uh, adjust your gears, you just uh, slide these small sliders to uh, fix a value. Yeah. So, let's wire them up. Well, we're just about to load. And also with the uh, XCF I noticed the detonate options on the ammo boxes, I don't know. Maybe that has some uh, use. So, Oh crap, I... We should link it to active, yes. No. Let's see. Fire. Yep, that's the first bomb. So, now let's test the uh, fear rocket pod. You have to uh, connect the correct ammo type to, uh, to, to all of the weapons, as usual. So let's see, this is a uh, 7 millimeter. So, now we wire them up. And uh, you have to connect the right ammo type to the 
right launcher, though it seems that uh, the ammo -E are not disappearing from the ammo rack, but you still have to connect them to a ammo box, uh, otherwise they won't work. Uh, well, and uh, where a nice feature is that the rockets disappear when you fire them from from the racks, so it's a very realistic feeling. Let's fire one. Fire. That's nice. A really nice sound. Let's uh, fire them to closer target, like the the hill over there. Okay, fire. No, I really like those. Like the ultimate helicopter weapon. And as you can see, it seems like no of the ammo have been used, but uh, the fear pod uh, isn't reloadable. You can't uh, reload them and they won't reload themselves. You have to spawn a new one when you use them, so uh, I guess that's fair. To the last new weapon type, let's uh, rocket tube. We have the 90 millimeter rocket tube, and uh, it's the usual. I didn't show that before. I think uh, we show some high explosive. It's nice, uh, and some. Uh, yeah. Oh, I guess you can only have high explosive. I don't know. Uh, propellant length. So how fast slash how much force in the rocket thrusters and projectile length that's make it more heavy it's good in armor penetrating you want projectile length uh, otherwise I don't really know uh, and the heat filler yeah much explosives and a tracer can we even have a tracer? I don't think so whatever well let's spawn that one link them and just wire them up. Activate. Activate. Let's choose detonate. I just want to try that one. On, uh, let's say, um, Alt. What? Why? I want detonate on uh, R. Okay. Now, let's fire on uh, mouse one. So, let's try this one. Let's. I guess they. Why can't I fire? Ah, no! It seems to be some uh, reload time. Mm -hmm. well, let's jump in. I hope it reloads. Yep. So it's, uh, yeah, heavy rockets. Ah, and right, the detonate button. Nothing happened. Well, good to know. You just uh, despawn it. I m maybe that's a bug. But, well, that's uh, pretty, no pretty much the new stuff. Uh, I don't think they added uh, any new engines. But perhaps uh, I should check engines. Boxer 4, blah, blah blah electric. I think they. Ah, it 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 look it look like the usual engines. I, I don't see any new one. Well, the new weapons are cool. You absolutely have to try XCF. Uh, it's the it's ACF with some uh, new stuff. You have to play on two-player, LAN or NOT server, you can play on single-player, then you have to use... Uh, uh, you, can, you can't use the ACF... Uh, XCF new, or, uh, new menu. You have to use uh, ACF menu as usual, and you, then you can't get the new content. So, well, it's not much of a delay on a two-player LAN server. It's, it's la nice. Well, that's pretty much it. Download it with the SVN link. Put it into your Tortoise SVN and uh, download it. Try it out. It's nice. Thank you.